Hello, kiddos. Uh, we're going to talk about electrical pressure and uh, electrical process, uh, how we create electricity and distribute it. Um, we've been talking in class about the generator, how you take a conductor in and out of a magnetic field to create electrical pressure and determining, depending on how strong the magnetic field is, determines how much electrical pressure is created or the strong, depending on how strong the magnet is as well. Um, this is the, like the generator station. It has a generator in it. And if you want an example of what a generator is, it looks like a motor, like your fan motor in your, in your house or uh, a, your fan motor on your condenser outside on your air conditioner or uh, your ceiling fan. They, they kind of, the, without the blades, they just look like a motor except in this case the shaft gets rotated and as the shaft rotates in and out of a magnetic field with a, when you take a conductor in and out of the magnetic field it creates electrical pressure so that's basically what a generator is it's like an air compressor when you turn on the air compressor it builds up pressure in the tank or uh, a water tower you know you pump water into the tower and and then you take from the bottom of the tank and feed the, set, the, t the houses, and that's how you get water pressure. So uh, a generator is basically like uh, is electrical, uh, uh, electrical, uh, electrical pressure. Um, so um, these generators create it. This is so. This is where it's generated. What what gener what causes the rotation? It could be a gas engine. It could be water turbines, it, which is uh, a, what they call a hydro turbine or a wind turbine, like the ones we see in our landscape that the wind rotates the blade and creates electrical pressure. There's also chemical ways of making electrical pressure, like batteries or uh, solar power. All right. So there's different there's different methods on how to create electrical pressure, and then the electrical pressure gets just to, uh, sent to a either a transformer. In this case, it's a transformer, which is a step up transformer. So it takes a lower voltage and creates it a higher voltage, which you can see up here. We're we're talking about look down here, 130,000 volts or 230,000 volts. That's a great deal of electrical pressure and then the transmission lines they may also have some capacitors in between the uh, if they do have any voltage loss that they that's significant they'll uh, transformer will i mean a, a capacitor will kind of step it up but other than that you got a step up transformer that increases the voltage and then you start stepping it down depending on where you're going so a step down transformer what is a transformer it is like a uh, regulator or a filter that uh, either uh, it's either like an amplifier. In this case, this is acts like an amplifier. It takes uh, whatever voltage comes out and it makes it more voltage. Or this is like a filter or a regulator. Whatever voltage is sent through it, it reduces that voltage to be a safer voltage used in wherever you're going. For instance, in your house, the highest voltage you'll have is uh, 240, and that's because you have two uh, separate 120s, and you put them together, you get 240. So basically, the highest voltage sent to your house is two separate 120s, and then you have a neutral, which is like a, a ground where you complete the electrical circuit. Uh, at the businesses like uh, factories or, uh, or processing plants or some type of commercial systems, they usually have higher voltage, just depending on their, their voltage uh, requirements or needs that they need to run, whatever they're trying to run. But other than that, this is a simple breakdown of how the electrical process works outside your home, coming into your home, which right here would be your home. This would be like, maybe not quite, but similar to the school, except it's not this high of a voltage coming in. All right. Uh, hopefully you have an understanding. Remember, it generates electrical pressure. And then the electrical pressure goes through the highways. These wires, these transmission lines are conductors. And they're basically like water pipes or air lines or... Uh, uh, 
some type of highway, like a car, like a freeway, you know, and you're traveling. And this is more like a, you go from a big highway to a smaller highway. So you, 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 you get reduced to a, a smaller highway, which transmits it on this side. Okay. Hopefully this was understanding. If you have any questions, be sure to uh, send me a co comments in the Google Classroom or email me. All right. Y'all have a good evening.